The problem is uh, the planet Mercury has a radius of 2.44 times 10 to the 6 meters and a mass of 3.30 times 10 to the 23 kilograms. A, what is the speed of a satellite in orbit? Uh, 265 kilometers above Mercury's surface. And what is the period of the satellite? So let's do this. Um, well, let's, let's just do given. So here's Mercury. And here we've got a satellite that's in orbit around Mercury, like kind of like this. And uh, we know the radius that's given, and we know the height is given in the problem. Now, uh, and we want to find uh, the speed, and we want to find uh, the period, capital T. So, and if I go off screen, let me know right away, okay? Um, so let's solve it. Well, uh, to find the speed, now you could start off with the orbital velocity equation, but um, I like to start from basic principles. The force of gravity is equal to the universal constant times the mass of Mercury times the mass of my spacecraft over the radius of the orbit squared. But this force, this force of gravity that Newton told us about is also a centripetal force. Why? Because the satellite is going in a circle around Mercury. And centripetal forces are equal to mv squared over r. So this mass cancels. One of the radiuses, radii cancel. Um, and solve for v. So v is the square root of g m over r, right? Now, it's perfectly OK to start there. But now we know what g is. We know what m is. That was given. We need to figure out what the radius of our orbit is before we can plug it in there. The radius of the orbit is equal to the radius of Mercury plus our height above the surface. OK, so the radius is um, was given to be 2.4 4 times 10 to the 6 meters. And then we have to, add, that's the radius plus the height. Now you have to add meters plus meters. You cannot add meters plus kilometers. Doesn't make sense. Like it, it just won't work. So uh, we have to take that 225 or 265 kilometers and call it 265,000 meters. And you get your calculator out. So 2.44 times 10 to the 6. And add that to 265,000. And you get 2 point R equals 2.705 times 10 to the 6 meters. All right? Is that what you got? OK. So now we can figure out our orbital velocity. 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11 Newton meter squared per kilogram squared times the mass, which is 3.30 times 10 to the 23 kilograms over 2.705 times 10 to the 6 meters. And the hardest thing about this is entering all those numbers incorrectly. So here's my good old HP 15C. Bought it in the spring of 1981, and it's only on its third set of batteries. Best calculator ever made, in my opinion. 6.67 times 10 to the um, uh, 11, uh, negative 11, 3.3 times 10 to the 23rd, multiply it, 2.705 times 10 to the 6, divide, and square root. And did you get a speed of 2,000? Now I'm going to round it off to three significant figures, that 2,850 meters per second. Is that what you got? 
That's pretty fast. Yeah. So that's for part A. Now the period, we know the velocity is equal to 2 pi r over the period. It's a circular orbit. So this is the circumference of a circle divided by the time it takes to go around once. That's called the period. And that'll be equal to our speed. So the period is equal to uh, 2 pi r over the speed. So that's 2 pi times r, which we got to be 2.705 times 10 to the 6 meters divided by 2,850 meters per second. And that gives us an orbital uh, period. Let's see, 2 inner, uh, where's pi on here? Pi times 2.705 times 10 to the 6 times and 2850 divide. And we've got, uh, well, quite a long time, huh? Did you get uh, 5,960, if I round up to three significant figures, seconds? Is that right? And just for fun, I'm going to divide that by 3,600 just to figure out how many hours that is. So it's about uh, a little over an hour and a half, uh, hour and a half or 1.65 minutes, or 1.65 hours. But we'll just leave it in seconds. So there's my answer for that. So let's take a look at the whole thing. And what do you need to know to solve this problem? Well, you need to know that the force of gravity is a centripetal force. And that allows you to figure out the speed at which uh, something will, uh, a satellite will orbit a planet. And you need to figure out that the, the radius of the orbit is just the radius of the planet plus your height above the planet. Make sure the units are the same. You get that answer. Plug in your values. We got an orbital speed of 2,850 meters per second. And from that, uh, also since it's a circular orbit, we can figure out the period. It's 2 pi r over, over the period, so solve for the period and get 5,960 seconds. And that's it.